Uh, now the Pima County's recorder's office shut down the link to request an early ballot in the general election days before the deadline. News for Tucson's political specialist Eric Fink is live in the newsroom to explain why the recorder's office made this call and the fallout they're now experiencing from both sides of this election. Eric. Yeah, Sean, Monica, the deadline to request an early ballot to vote in this general election was this past Friday, October 25th. The Pima County Recorder's Office here says days before the deadline, they were overwhelmed with requests, so they decided to go another route, shutting down the link to the portal. And now one state lawmaker is outraged. We're getting word that she wants an investigation into what happened. Six days before the early ballot request deadline, the Pima County Recorder's Office shut down the link because it says it was overwhelmed with requests totaling in the thousands. In a statement Wednesday afternoon, the Recorder's Office said, quote, due to an overwhelming number of early ballot requests, many of which were duplicates from voters already receiving an active early voting list ballot, the Pima County Recorder's Office made the decision to close the online ballot request form and directly contact voters. About 4,000 voters were alerted of this issue and encouraged to call the recorder's office to resolve their online requests. Late Wednesday afternoon, District 17 GOP State Senator Justine Wadsack sent a statement saying she's outraged and wants to get to the bottom of this. Wadsack saying in part, quote, I was truly shocked to learn our county recorder's office had done this. These actions are absolutely unacceptable, undermine the integrity of our elections, and raised serious questions regarding voter suppression. One of the voters who made an early ballot request is former Democratic state lawmaker Ted Downing, who's now an independent. He got his early ballot as he says he was asked to call the recorder's office. He did so, but he's disappointed by what happened, and he worries that this could put Pima County in the national spotlight next week for the wrong reasons. Pima County is the breadbasket of Democratic votes, Eric. If the turnout in Pima County is subpar as a result of this glitch, the recorder can share credit for the loss. If Harris wins, the Republicans can point out these irregularities. Either way, we lose. This should not happen. The recorder's office says if you wanted to vote an early ballot but could not contact the recorder's office in time, you can still vote on Election Day on Tuesday at any vote center. There's 126 of them in the county. Just don't forget your photo ID. We'll have more on this story coming up tonight at 10. For now in the newsroom, I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson. All right, Eric, thank you for that. Well,